What's up, people? Rob Barrington back here for the weekend tournament. Finally, I actually not only get to play it, I actually skipped a few weeks because it was just uh, just not in the cards for me, uh, no pun intended. Uh, uh, but I'm back, I'm ready to play, and this first hand is a doozy. Look at this, pass, pass. We have a beautiful hand with 10 cards in the majors and six solid hearts. Uh, we're just going to start with one heart in this situation. And, uh, you know, in third chair, sometimes we might even see a jury bid here or something like that. So let's see what happens. A heart and no trump. Okay, not the, not the bid we would necessarily wanted to see the most often. But now we're deciding what to do. Uh, we have a very, very strong hand uh, just based on the shape of it and the quality of our heart suit. If partner um, had four spades we would have heard them bid one spade here so we can be very confident we do not have a spade fit the question is with a hand like this are you just rebidding two hearts or are you bidding three hearts and i have to be honest it's very close it's only 14 points right so it's kind of weird hey why are you getting so excited but it's 14 points with every single card working for us and a void in a side suit um the opponents haven't bid anything. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, right? Partners are past hand. They're both past hands. So we have 14. It could be, you know, a hand where everyone has kind of around the same number of values. Um, bidding two hearts is going low, and I don't know. I'm flipping a coin in my head here, and I think I am just going to bid two hearts. There are a lot of hands that this goes badly. And honestly, if partner bids again, excuse me, <laughs> if partner bids again here, we're happy to continue. Is that a sign off? New suit, bad hearts, twice rebidable clubs. Oh my God. That's an amazing hand opposite this. Uh, however, we don't know how bad their clubs are. So partner's trying to sign off in clubs, which is pretty hilarious because uh, we have a good hand for this suit. We know partner is, you know, three or less of these. We also know partner has less than two hearts, so we're going to get to ditch a bunch of losers over there. So if partner has amazing clubs, this might be a hand where we can do damage with. What what can we do here? Four clubs. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, what's this? This is natural, I'm sure. This is natural. Um, two or minus clubs. I don't know. This is weird. I kind of want to try to play game in clubs. I don't think partner's going to kick it in too often. But I don't think we're in too much danger in four clubs. My gosh. The problem is if partner just tables like queen, ten, six, the clubs, and we have three club losers, or double tin spade, and, you know, two club losers, and uh, and they just knock out the ace of spades at trick one. The robot is never helpful in these situations either. Now, whatever. Let's give it to him. Okay. Well, now I hate my bid. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happened. Okay, I mean, I don't hate it that much, I guess. Uh, it's a weird situation. We're going to – we could run this a whole bunch of ways. We can just win the Ace of Hearts, start drawing some Trump, and then just elope with all of our heart tricks, and I think that's what we're going to try to do here. Um, we're going to play a low club to the nine over there. Okay, we like seeing that. We're going to just kind of maintain an entry to dummy and clubs just in case, right? Uh, and here it is, right? If they play a club here, we have an entry. If they play a diamond, we have a, an easy way to rough this. And let's make sure we're okay. We're going to rough this. And we're now going to play... I don't want to miss out on this. So I'm going to play the King of Hearts. I'm going to hope they led from a doubleton. This could be a disaster, but luckily we're only in four. Okay, good. Now we're going to scoop it. So now I'm going to be, well, no, now I can't play ace of spades, rough of spades, well, whatever. I'm I'm out of this. Um, let's just rough this. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking here. <laughs> I'm nervous. It's my first time back in the weekend game. <laughs> we just had to maintain the entry to dummy for the ace of spades, and now we're going to just cross back over there. And then whatever, we can claim so I don't do this. Look at the funny thing, though. <laughs> queen, jack, seven, queen, jack, seven. You're not going to see that too often. All the trumps are out. The, all the hearts are good, and the diamonds are gone. And that means we made six. Yuck. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the result stream there. And uh, so don't worry. I'll get that uh, trick counter fixed on the first one. I wish I just bid five clubs. It's hard to know partners. Clubs are that good. Look at they even had three wasted points and diamonds over here. And we're still making 12 tricks on this on this line here. It's pretty crazy. A spade lead holds it to 11, though, I think. Let's let's make sure that uh, – let's not export it. We don't need to do that. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, a heart or a spade lead apparently will hold it to that. Um, honestly, it looks like anything holds it's just one over. 
They just need to get, they need to create their spade trick at some point before uh, they get out. But we, we did well on this one. Um, let's go to the next one. I, I, I guess three no is a possibility here though too, right? Six hearts, a club, and the diamonds are stopped in the ace of spades. You know, I, I don't know what people are going to be doing on this. It's a, I wonder what happens if we bid three hearts actually. That's a that's an interesting choice here as well, right? I mean, it's it, again, it was close. I just wish, I wish partner would just realize how good their hand is when I bid four clubs. <laughs> like, what, what what can I be doing over here, partner? All right, well, let's uh, let's get back to it. I'm not going to uh, belabor the first board. We have an interesting hand here. One heart to us. Take a look. An amazing 19. Uh, so this is this is amazing because it's it's a perfect shape for a double, right? And we're going to use the power double anyway. We're going to double, and depending on what partner does, we're going to choose to do something next. But we're always going to start with double because really our hand is too strong to do anything but double. We have 19 points. Some players, you might see a pro here or there just overcall a no trump and just try to buy it for one no, which honestly, if you think about it, you have 19. If righty has a 13 count, that's 32 average of the other two hands is going to be about four points. So we don't, we're not going to have a lot to deal with here, but maybe if we find a spade fit or a fit in those minor suits, and we'll just raise that and see what happens. But here, just so you know, uh, even without this shape, even if you had a fifth spade, right, take away, a, let's say we take away a diamond here and add it to the spade suit, right, we would always double still, right, because our overcall range for suit bids maxes out at about 17. So we're just in here with double anyway. And now it goes two hearts. Check, check back to us. And this is uh, an easy spot, folks. You don't want to do anything weird here. You certainly don't want to bid two no trump and be opposite that four count over there from partner. And now that lefty has bid two hearts, it's six to nine total points. But if they have six high card points, partner has even less than what we'd expect. We still don't want to let them sit here. In fact, in a match point game, which is what we're playing always in this weekend tournament, let's remember it is almost never right to let the opponents play two of a suit that we know they have a fit in. So we're going to double, and this just says, hey, partner, I want you to still bid. Please keep bidding. And here I think we have to be happy that we've gotten partner to bid. And if the opponents bid three hearts, I mean, maybe we'll think about a penalty double in this situation. But really we don't want to tempt fate by doing anything else. And partner now, let's just add up the points. This is kind of what I'm doing in my head. Let's, go, let's, be, let's be a little bit conservative and say they only have 12, like their minimum opening. And if this person has six, that's 18. I have 19, that's 37. Partner has three points, All right? So three diamonds is probably a pretty good landing spot for most of the hands partner's going to have. So if West has more shape, uh, we're looking at a spot where a partner has a little bit. Well, look at that. Beautiful. That's what we're hoping for over there. We want a dumpster fire, basically. We don't want partner to show up with a good hand in these situations because it means we would have underbid, and clearly we didn't, right? And this is just this is just taking a moment, folks, and picturing the hands around you about the with the information they're presenting with you for for you. Can I speak? <laughs> I don't know if we, I don't even know I can play bridge, but I'm definitely having trouble speaking. <laughs> so here we go. Spade lead. Uh, we're never getting to dummy except in that trump suit. Uh, weird spade choice here. A heart double, two hearts. I mean, it looks like it could be shortness, uh, which means lefty has four spades. So this could be a doubleton, right? We know they have five hearts at least. And it looks like they have exactly five hearts because we have five of them as well. So if they have five hearts, they have two. The likely shape, this is a good one to remember. When If we know they have exactly five in a suit, which it seems like they do in hearts, they will likely, more often than not, the rest of their shape will be five, three, three, two. So if they have a five card suit exactly, it's three, three, two. And this lead kind of suggests that's what's doing. So in this, at this point, we're going to play the ace. And honestly, I'm going to hope they have a two card diamond suit. I'm going to play the ace of diamonds. Uh, and I'm going to just play a low diamond. Ooh, King Doubleton. That's what we're hoping for in either spot. It's even better that it's offside because we didn't have to do this. And notice the only reason I'm playing it this way, folks, is we cannot finesse, right? I cannot possibly transport over to this side of the table and take a finesse because I have no entry to that side. So here we're just going to let this one slide to our king. We're going to draw the last trump. And now we know we can get over to our hand by a roughing a spade for sure. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to exit a spade. If spades break 3-3, three, three, which we don't think they will because we thought about the shape there, 
uh, we're going to be in business there as well. Nice. They're going to break the heart suit for us. We are going to let them do that. Jack of hearts. We didn't necessarily have to do that. We were going to take the king anyway. And now we can use our entry to our hand to lead a club towards our king 9-8. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. And it's just going to go club to the king. And wow, what a good situation for us. Uh, I have a fun little two-way finesse there for the 10, but it's not going to matter. They just had tricks. But we competed to the three level in diamonds. And as long as, and let's see what their heart position was going to be. Uh, and sorry, folks, I did it again. I need, I need to fix that. I will. I promise <laughs> I'm new. I'm back to this. This is like, this is like taking a lot of time off a bridge. I haven't done the weekend tournament in so long. I'm just, I'm just getting back in the flow. So I promise I'll have that trick on our back up for the next one. But we were in three diamonds down one and let's see how, is this score going to go for us? And it's going to depend on how many tricks they take in hearts. And it's probably their heart contract isn't that great because our spade, our hand is so good, right? They could possibly set up some spade uh, tricks to pitch losers in their hand. But uh, the diamond position is going okay for them. The heart position is bad for them, right? If they play a heart to the queen and we win the king, our partner is going to take a heart trick. So if we get two hearts and two spades and a diamond, that's five. And then if we get a club, that's down one. So this result will depend on how the other players did if they let them play two hearts. It seems unlikely that with this sort of hand, we would let them slide for two hearts, but maybe people just doubled once and let him go when partner didn't respond. Bad stuff, right? You definitely want to get in there again and here if they're likely to be making two hearts. And honestly, if I lead the ace of spades, which is very likely on this auction, we're going to be behind right away, right? Because they're going to be halfway to setting up that spade suit, and then they're going to be pitching away once they once they can uh, draw some trump. They're going to have a little entry issue, but the king of diamonds looks like it's going to be okay for them uh, as long as we don't knock that out beforehand. But, you know, I don't want to talk too much about two hearts. We chose to play three diamonds. We'll see how that is in the provisional results after we finish here. All right, look at this hand. 14. Here's my deal, folks. On the weekend game, I open every 14 count one no trump <laughs> if I'm balanced. I know I know you're saying why you're doing that, Rob. It's ridiculous. But that's how I roll in the weekend game. That's the rule I make. Unless it's like a terrible 14, I'm just going to be in there and upgrading slightly because a lot of my friends who play this, like Johnny Hurd or uh, any of those other big-time pros you see in that leaderboard, sometimes Chris Willankin's up there as well, they sometimes, they're aggressive, right? So I kind of want to stay with them without being maybe too far outside the box. Uh, so we're in four hearts, and it looks like we would have played four hearts regardless, right? Our partner has 12. The only difference is we're playing it from now this side of the table. If I had opened normally, I would have opened one club. My partner would have been a heart, and I would have been two hearts, and we're playing four hearts from this side. So... Moral to the story is this could be good or bad for us. It depends on what they would have led from the other side of the table. Here, it looks like an easy choice for us on that one. Diamonds and diamond back. Whoa, I see. Okay, so they they realized they're rough in this situation. That's no that's no good for us. But maybe we can get out. Um, I mean, we're, it doesn't look like we're going to get out too well here. We have a club loser for sure. We're just going to try to avoid more heart losers. Heart, ace of hearts, low heart. Uh, here, what do you do, folks? Make your play. Automatic. This is automatic. You already saw them rough once. That was 9, 10, 11, 12. So if they're playing low from their holding, you're winning this. And I would say that's almost no chance they're doing that. This is just automatic. There's no more trump to draw. Unfortunately, though, here comes the club through. And now we're losing two clubs. My goodness, what a brutal assault on us they've just done. However, down to minus 100. It looks like we did not gain from playing it from our side by opening a no trump. This could be a total disaster. And we'll find out, in the again, in the provisional results, if they just lead the ace of diamonds, right? Uh, if they lead the ace of diamonds initially, they're supposed to get us two tricks. Um, and obviously, that's what they've done over here. It's much easier, though, for this player to lead their singleton than for this player to lead their ace of diamonds. However, maybe the auction got to a spot where I'm wondering if it went a club, a heart by our partner. 
is East going to bid three diamonds? Why didn't they bid anyway? It's weird. They probably had a hand that could have come in here. But if it got, does go a club of heart, maybe they bid three Ds. And then this hand would pass, right? They don't have enough to be bidding at the three level. Uh, and I don't know. Our partner would do something there. They would probably double and we'd find our heart fit and we would be in game anyway. The question is, what does this hand lead versus uh, four hearts? Ace is a harder sell than a singleton. All right, enough of that. Board four. Ooh, that looks like a no trump in any in any city, state, wherever we are, unless we're playing some sort of precision type stuff. Uh, and even that's a pretty normal no trump anyway. One no trump, two diamonds. Ooh. Let's see. I have 16 high card points. I have a doubleton club and four hearts. I like to be aggressive. I'm going to super accept. Usually this is four cards in support and 17 max. And I'm equating this to 17 here with my doubleton. I'm adding a little bit for that shape. Uh, nice. Uh, I'm wondering if partner would have passed. We're in a game that some people might not be in. And is that good or bad? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> we do like being short in uh, in these clubs, that is for sure. And in fact, I think we're going to play a club to the ace and just exit a club right now and just set up some roughs for our side before, just in case the trumps are 3-1, we can get to the business of getting some tricks. And we like that they're playing spades because that's going to give us some transportation. And switching to a diamond, I was just going to say, if you switch to a diamond, we'll take that finesse too. All right. And there's our club rough. And here, I'm going to play the ace of hearts. If trumps are even, we're fine. If not, I'm just going to take a weird rough-a-doodle-doodle -doodle finesse. We're going to play a club. We're going to play a low diamond of that queen. And then we're going to draw that last trump with that king of hearts. I guess we could have drawn it with the eight. And that's claim city, folks. Plus 620. Um, I wonder... I, oh my god i haven't put the trick counter up there yet how dumb am i um that's 10 tricks though and that is i don't know it's a pretty good game uh if we didn't super accept would north pass probably i don't know robot seems like they would pass there they would equate this with the seven high cards but uh i don't know if they if they raise at all or if they give any little nick you're gonna bid four hearts but it's possible they let that one slide. We'll find out. Okay, this is a 13 count that has no reason to upgrade to anything. Uh, two clubs, that is not jury, folks. Do not worry about that. <laughs> that is non-game forcing two over one. It looks like it's natural clubs. And it's probably like 10 or 11. Uh, I mean, I, two no is probably going to say, hey, do you want to bid some game? 15 to 17. All right. I mean, the question is, if partner has really good clubs, can we take nine tricks? I don't know. I don't see this too often. This is a super weird auction to be dealing with. So I'm just going to float it. I'm going to float two clubs and uh, play it there. If they balance, we'll probably whack them. Uh, but let's take a look. Let's see how no Trump is. And give me one second. Better late than never. We have our we have our trick counter there now. Uh, let's see. Well, first of all, let's see what three no Trump would have been like. And it would have been a disaster, especially on a heart lead. Because we have club losers. In clubs, we are loving life over here. We're going to win this ace of hearts. We're going to draw some Trump. And the reason we're drawing Trump, folks, is this is usually the, the, the place you're going to look for work to be done. Meaning, do I have shortness in the hand that has short Trump? Do I need to Trump anything in this hand? And here you can see we're so flat. We don't. All right, so we're going to draw Trump. And we'll take a diamond finesse at some point. Uh, there's 9, 10, 11 gonna rough this i don't think we're gonna be over roughed in this one so we can rough low and there is all right that's 12 and here's lucky number 13 and now we are going to not only play uh our diamonds this way we're gonna play the queen of diamonds and here we're hoping for a 3-3 break um we're gonna mess around if oh there we go well there's the nine of diamonds right so once the nine of diamonds falls we now know we get to play the 10 which is going to clear out, doesn't matter. And then we play a spade to our king. 
And eight of diamonds. Now, if the diamonds didn't break and we didn't see the nine, we would have stayed in our hand, drawn a whole bunch of trump before we let a spade to our hand. And then maybe we have a little squeezage on, on uh, one of our opponents here. But we didn't need it. The nine of diamonds fell short. And grossly underbid, unfortunately. We are just, we took 12 tricks <laughs> in, in three clubs. Um, or two clubs. If we bid three clubs, what would they have done? I don't know. I mean, on a heart lead, it's a total disaster and no trump. Playing clubs is pretty great, though, right? The ace of clubs is on side. The diamond finesse works, and diamonds are breaking evenly, or even the nine doubleton works, as you saw, but it was even anyway. So here, very friendly situation. Uh, I, I wouldn't guess too many people are much higher than this. Uh, and if they are, more power to them. Uh, we'll see how the scores shake out. Uh, one heart on my right. This is a classic one spade overcall, folks. Doesn't even need to be this good. Take away the ace of diamonds. I would probably still overcall one spade with this hand. That's how good of a lead direction it's going to be. And then we just shut it down, right? We have we have an 11 count. Uh, and the good thing is, is that we have a good read on our opponents. And pretty much you can tell it's 11 because it's a best hand tournament, right? They cannot have more than us. So we have 11. That's 22. Two clubs here. That's probably about 10, right? And that should be, right? It is. Let me click on it and show you. Free bid. 11 plus total points. Let's just have 10 high card points. 22. 32. That's about eight points. That makes about sense, right? There you go. And now you know what's doing on this hand. No need to be competing. We're on a, on a law of total trick situation. If we knew we had nine trumps, we would bid to the three level. If we don't know we have nine trumps, we don't do that. right? So here they found their way to three hearts after bidding two clubs. Uh, so here's a, there's competing situations. Uh, this player has bid diamonds and hearts. This player has bid hearts and clubs. So frequently... You might want to lead Trump if you're worried about them trumping in the shorthand or trumping uh, the other suit. But also, we kind of have to be worried about them setting up one of those long suits for a whole bunch of pitches. So usually we want to be aggressive. I'm torn here. I'm just going to lead the king of spades, and that's brutal. Uh, that was very fast. Give me a second, folks. Let me show you what happened. They won the ace of spades and dummy, and dummy did show up with four spades, right? So now righty we know only started with one spade. Right, so they have one spade maximum, and we kind of, you know, aren't worried about having led Trump because they're drawing Trump right away, which is a sign that says, hey, one of those side suits is looking pretty juicy to us. I'm guessing it's clubs, uh, but we'll find out. Uh, heart to the king. We're we're not unhappy to see that. It means we, our heart lead wasn't as important. This one's fun. I'm gonna play ace of diamonds diamond because if partner has um, the king, I, I'm getting a little rough over here. Let's go, partner. Okay, you can do that. Play another diamond, though. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, wow. We like that. And another. Thank you, sir. May I have another? I will take that trick. And now we're just exiting, right? If partner has a club trick, they're going to get it. Uh, if they don't, which, as you can see, they did not. Uh, it didn't matter. So there, there was a little bit of aggression setting up our tricks and also getting that nice um, amount of diamond tricks plus the rough. That was pretty decent. Uh, that is plus a hundred. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Spades, not a terrible contract either. We have three club losers, obviously. And if they lead a heart, we're going to lose the heart right away. Uh, but potential for extra stuff, but well, we're very happy to let them play three hearts and beat it. <laughs> so we will take that. And remember in these situations, it's, it's relatively straightforward when we don't have a clear cut bid based on our values and kind of our destination. Like if we knew we had game, it would be much different. Here, we're just deciding whether to compete, and it's based on the number of Trump we have. And again, don't forget, when the opponents are bidding, especially in these best hand situations, you're going to have a lot of information. As it turned out, lefty had 11 and righty had 10. <laughs> so it was weird. The shapes kind of made them bid the way they did. But here, you kind of have this in your head. Good stuff. Let's see. Two more to go. Here's our penultimate board here. That's a, that's a board that is just thrown around the bridge world like crazy. Uh, I like this hand. Two, five, five in the majors. 13 high card points. Is that a balanced choice of games? Okay, be prepared for this, folks. Don't forget, you can press on any bid you want, and tell, and it'll tell you exactly what it is. This is exactly three spades, all right? And it is 13 to 15, and it usually shows a flat hand. And it's kind of saying, partner's telling us, hey, would you rather play in no trump, or would you rather play in a suit? 
with this shape, I think it's very clear we want to play in a suit, and it is certainly spades. And they've done, they've done something nice for us. They've led a heart towards our position here. I'm guessing it's going to go 10. Yeah, this deuce is certainly shortness. So here's what we want to do. We want to get trumps out as quickly as possible. Spade to our ace. Nine of spades. There we go. And now if they get a rough, they're, they're shortened to only one possible spot there for a rough. Here they may not be getting one at all. And there it is. Are they getting it? Oh, wow. They weren't even uh, short in that situation. So now we can just claim we're going to take all these tricks. All those hearts are going to be good. And that's plus 650. That was the easiest board of the day right there. Uh, rem remember, this is conventional, right? This is not necessarily standard stuff. This is what the robot agrees to play this bid as. And when you play with a robot, you play their system. And here we have a hand that certainly is not built for no trump. So we bail pretty easily to this contract and it's uh, it's an easy sell from there there we go we will get back to business for the last chance to excel oh yeah one heart past four hearts wow uh what do you do folks this is an interesting one it's torturous double is probably right um four spades is 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 one one chance at success basically if partner has a fit you're okay and if they don't maybe you were better off playing in a minor so my goal here is i'm going to double if partner bids five clubs i might decide to kind of correct to one of my suits maybe diamonds and then give them a choice of diamonds and spades hoping they take it that way um yeah whatever that's what i'm going to do double oh wow partner bids four spades so now i'm going to bid five hearts right so why am I doing this? I'm doing this because partner has no idea how good my hand is. They know my hand is very good because I forced them to bid at the four level. However, they're going to be bidding four because they're forced quite a few times. And I mean, is it likely we have slam if lefties hearts are really good and maybe they have just the ace of clubs, maybe slam's okay. Um, but I want to give my partner a chance to do it and I'm risking the five level by doing so. Uh, the robots play only first round controls so if i bid five clubs in fact i, w I wonder what would it would take five clubs as um okay they would take it as a control bid so here i'm bidding five diamonds not five hearts excuse me i'm bidding five diamonds because that's my lowest first round control and i want to i want to at least tell partner i'm slamish and they can decide and here's what they've done yeah they just hopped to six spades love it okay so so that means they had a good hand and they had some reason for doing that and that little prodding got us to this spot and partner has a total yard barrel wow <laughs> what happened i don't know what happened what did i show did i show like a 30 count oh my god I moused over this too. I just, I didn't get this far down, folks. I didn't get to the point that I was showing 31 points in this situation. I mean, I knew I was showing a good end. I'm clear on that, folks, but 31, that's a lot. Uh, okay. Wow. They gave us an entry to that hand, which is pretty awesome. We're in trouble, folks. We're in trouble. We need single, wow, we need, even singleton king of spades wouldn't even help us. We need an entry to the north end. Um, and where's the well, whatever the king of spades is so likely to be offside folks let's play some trump i'm gonna play ace of spades low spade let's hope that's not king yeah there we go okay at least that finesse was winning but still we we've escaped here so we can take a diamond finesse from that side yuck uh, yuck 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 can't believe i did this what a way to end the tournament folks and the diamond finesse is losing. So four spades was our perfect spot. That was the Goldilocks zone, and I blew right past it for the sixth level. <laughs> That's what happens when you show 31 points to the robot, folks. They they bid slams with two points. So you can't you can't blame them on that one. I take full responsibility for uh, for what happened there. And I'm gonna wait a second. Usually they give you a little preview of the result. It takes a few moments, but I'm gonna wait for that and share it with you. Uh, let me let me give you a guess. I this is good. Yeah, I should do this every time, actually. I'm going to guess. Let's see. This one, I feel good about being in clubs, but this one I could have been in game. So let's give it like 51. Three diamonds. I think they can make two hearts. I'm going to give this like 55. Four hearts down to what was this one? I, I have the provisional ready. I'm not going to cheat. Uh, one, no, two, no. Uh, two, blah, blah, blah. two clubs, two hearts. That seems pretty – no, that's where I opened with 14, so we would have been on the other side of things. Question mark. Maybe that's like – I'm going to give it 
could be giving myself an extra thing. This is where we super accepted. Let's give ourselves 65 there. Two clubs. I don't know. Seems like maybe 60. I don't know. I mean, I think I'm being very generous to myself. Three hearts down one. Who knows? Somewhere averages. This is totally average. This is like 12%. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to guess 54. Oh, wow. 63.73. And where's my where's my chicken scratches over here? I, I had 51. This was, uh, let me slide this over. Can I do Yeah, let's do this. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. How do I do it? Hang on a second, folks. I have the technology. What this proves is I'm a terrible, you know, uh, I'm a terrible person at uh, seeing how we did. Uh, the first board, 71.6. Nice. Three diamonds turned out on this one. Uh, on board two, especially, it looked like they could make hearts. And let, let's let's take a look. Let's remind you guys of that. And let me get rid of uh, all these chicken scratches here. Looks like they could make hearts, right? That's why that score is so good, right? 89.8. It means that there were a lot of people just letting them play two hearts and they were going minus 110, right? So minus 100, much better, right? Uh, next one, four hearts down two. Yeah, we, we knew that was going to be bad. <laughs> Not only did I open a no trump, maybe getting us too high already, um, but I, I also, you know, just went down a whole bunch on this one because the diamond lead was just brutal. So 10.6, yuck. And the next one, the super accept, big time win, 94.3 at this point. Love that one. Uh, and that was just kind of being a little aggressive, but evaluating the hand pretty well. Two clubs on board five, way above average, 79%. That's that's interesting. I, I, uh, I'm I not sure. I mean, I guess three clubs, I guess people are doing something else. Maybe they bid two no. Um, but here, uh, just always recognize that in this spot, you do not have to bid. And also maybe, maybe the bid of three clubs just gave them a different defense or something like that. Who knows? Um, board six was really good also. And this was where, yeah, we just let them play three hearts. I would guess what happened in this one, or maybe the reason the score is so different is, I guess maybe people were falling in love with their hand. When you see that suit, it's hard to let the opponents play. But let me tell you this. The worst mistake I see people make at the bridge table all the time is the refusal to give up, right? It's it's like, oh, I'm not letting them play again. They keep stealing these contracts, or especially if it's a particularly aggressive opponent like myself. You know, you see a lot of people going, I'm not letting them do it again. But really, we talked about it. It's a love told or trick situation. Make it easy for yourself and just defend. If you defend well, you're usually doing pretty well. The real shock for me is board seven. How did that become such a good score? 75.5. Um, weird. Weird. I'm not I'm wondering why, because it just seems normal. Oh, I know why. I'm sorry. Probably a lot of people just passed three no because they didn't look at what it was. I I got you. That's what happened. There's probably some people playing three no Trump. And honestly, on a couple of different leads, you're not going to do as well as you are in spades just because you have that shape advantage. And then, well, board eight. I was so generous with myself. I think I gave myself uh, 13%. No, it's 3%, Rob. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Rob. So that was just whatever. I was an idiot there. And that's fine. You know, it's okay to be – it's okay to just make – you're going to make a bunch of mistakes when you play bridge. And what you can do is you can either say, I got unlucky and lie to yourself, or you can say – I'm a dummy, and I bid way too much, and I should just look at it when it says 31 plus points. <laughs> uh, but we live, we learn, and uh, that's not the first time I made that mistake either. So uh, I'm glad to be back on the weekend game. I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, it was kind of last minute. I'm on my way out the door to uh, an event in Arizona that I'm really excited about. And uh, I will see you guys next week for another version. Hopefully uh, uh, we'll have a little more time to uh, – to grind up a better score but two boards we missed on here and we, we me uh, and i'm interested to see how you guys did on those but i'll take 63 so far it's better than i have been doing when i've played this randomly in the last few times so i'll see you next time folks thanks thanks a lot for joining